What's up, friends? Max Mugger with a quick update for Wake Up News about the California fires. Uh, and I'm going to nuke these materials. That's some normal grass, some pine boughs, and some aspen leaves. You can see those leaves are already kind of dried out. It's fall here in Wyoming, where I'm reporting from. And I'm going to go for two minutes. I've already done these for about 30 seconds, but I wanted to start the video over again. Uh, and we're going to see if this stuff burns in the microwave. The reason being... We all know what happens if you put metal in the microwave, right? If you accidentally put like a fork or some aluminum foil in the microwave. Oh, a little noise coming out of there, but so far nothing's bursting into flames. And the reason I'm doing this is because out in California with these fires, they call them wildfires, they call them forest fires, but really it seems like a lot more houses and cars are burning than forests. There are these really disturbing images of cars that are completely torched where the glass is melted out and the wheels, the metal alloys of the wheels, often they use aluminum for wheels, is completely melted to the extent where there are literally pools of aluminum that ran down the street and have formed these weird little lakes of aluminum. And then right next to these vehicles, you'll see trees and other vegetation that still has foliage on it. So I've dropped a few images of that in there, but I want to showcase for you as we, we've been in there for a minute and 10 seconds, uh, that vegetation doesn't react in the microwave like, you know, it's not going to burst into flames, it's not going to cause a bunch of sparks like you'd see if you put metal in the microwave. And what are cars made out of? Well, they're made out of various metals. Houses, of course, contain many metal appliances and metal fasteners like nails and screws and stuff. So we see all this footage of cars and houses that are completely obliterated while the vegetation nearby is totally fine. And it prompts the question, are directed energy weapons, microwave weapons, being used to cause these fires in California? We're almost done here cooking up this delicious little feast. Let's see what's going on. Food is ready. Here we go. Generally, I don't use the microwave for anything. So the grass dried out a little. Sorry, my hands are so dirty. I've been working in the yard. So the grass dried out a little. It's a little brittle, but you can see it's not hot. Uh, the pine bough, not hot either. The, lead, the needles seem to have turned a little bit browner. And then the aspen leaves have wilted, but nowhere near ignition. Um, whereas we all know what happens when you put a piece of metal in the microwave. So, tell your friends, get the word out, raise awareness about this disturbing situation in California where all these wildfires seem to have started almost simultaneously on the night of the 8th going into the 9th of October 2017. And there's all this unusual video and photo evidence showing metal structures, you know, houses with metal fixtures and metal fasteners and cars that are totally obliterated while nearby the vegetation seems relatively untouched. Get the word out. Your boy Mog signing off. One love. Peace.